right, I've waited for the still of the evening. The sun's going down. It's uh, after work o'clock. I've got a little Ryobi electric uh, rototiller that I'm going to do a final prep on this soil. So uh, if you've been watching, I put lasagna. This one a year and a half ago, that one half uh, six months ago. So there's more cardboard left in that one than here. In addition, in Texas, I plant as thick as I can. I think the roots give each other shade. Uh, so I, I plant dense, not a lot of uh, rows and organization, just a garden. Everything's blended in a garden. You do you, but let's see how this Ryobi does. This will be my first season with it. We'll get down in here in this soil, which has uh, all kinds of bad things in it. Sticks and uh, roots and well, all kinds of bad things. Let's get in there. All I want to do is level out this soil here. Ah, looky there. So it's not going to go through roots, that's for sure. Look at that. If I hit those, maybe I'll throw them to the side. And come back and get them later. It's going to make my real quick job be a real long one. <laughs> that's the only problem. And uh, this is a second year garden, so do not fault me much for this, everybody. And uh, it'll get better down through the years, that's for sure. All right, let's try this again. Well, my impression is this is not the same as me getting a, a plow on the end of a tractor, I'll tell you. When I do that and I need to back up, that's when uh, when I need a little help here. Woo wee! She doesn't, she doesn't back up everybody. I do not have a reverse. Well, that's a little bit of a problem. So I don't know, I was hoping this would be a 10 minute job with this. To be honest, it'll be easier for me to get a break in a hoe this year and whack it that way but I'll condition it like this it'll take me a little longer but I might get both of these done tonight we'll find out there's all kinds of stuff there's probably too much stuff in here for me to do this Let's do a versus. So we have the, uh, you all saw how far, and that didn't really take me very long. But uh, looky there, this one's gonna be easier for me to get out all of these roots. Plus I can work around, work things in. 
So yeah, I think um, backhoe for the turn in the garden is a lot easier than a plow. But I suspect that with all the weeds that I have, roots. Plus it's letting me rebuild the thing. I, I'm gonna guess that this is gonna be the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hey, let me get it off of that. Any way you cut it, gardening ain't anything but rewarding work. Hard work at that. Big piece of clay right there. You wonder why I'm doing the lasagna gardening? I'll show you. This is not a rock. This is a hunk of clay. <laughs> right out of that ground. The first year I did it, it was even worse. But that lasagna gardening goes a long way. Now I'll put clay back in. Eventually I'll get enough organic material in there that it will, you can't add sand to clay. If you add sand, it just makes it into cement. So sand is not the way to do that. You have to add lots and lots of fresh organic matter. I guess you could add mica or something like that that maybe would hold up. But there you go. That's why I did the lasagna gardening. And then you could see that uh, compared to uh, all of it being like that, that soil's not too bad. Have I amended a few more times doing exactly what I'm doing? Uh, it ought to be good soil. What's my verdict on uh, the Ryobi rototiller versus... Uh, What's my verdict? Ryobi rototiller versus an old-fashioned hoe. Well, I think they both have value. This does a better job leveling for me. But once that Ryobi, once this garden's finally a garden with real soil, bet you that Ryobi's gonna be quite good. No matter which way I go about it, I'm gonna let you know right now, my shoulders and back are already protesting. Both ways, wear you out. Both ways, wear you out. Now, I don't know why this doesn't have a reverse. I guess because a weed eater doesn't need a reverse, but the rototiller sure does. This is going to get pretty old for me right, right here. And it'll get heavier and heavier. All these weeds. Uh, this thing's not made for this kind of a garden.
that wasn't too bad, was it? Well, I'm glad I took a break between uh, backhoe and this, which, believe it or not, you're sitting there. It's still hard work in this garden. Let me get it all knocked out. I'm going to put you on stop motion because I'm breathing hard, man. This is hard work. Gardening's hard work. Furthermore, <laughs> I'm not so sure I come out ahead compared to a grocery store, except in flavor. That's the only thing. It's expensive. Gardening's not cheap. I guess if you saved your seeds and did it like our ancestors did, gardening would be pretty cheap. Well, it, yeah, I mean, this is all free for me in energy because, well, the diesel's not free. The diesel's $4 a gallon. I imagine this was less than half a gallon for me to churn all this. So two bucks in that. Disregarding my labor cost. Uh, and then I have solar out here, so the rechargeable Ryobi doesn't mean anything. That uh, second part of the Ryobi was a little easier on me. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. But uh, there's another handle that came with that a hook handle that comes out. <sighs> I might put that on because I'm breathing hard. This is hard work. All right, let me put you on stop motion, see if I can get this all done. Well, I'm a little disappointed in my Ryobi uh, rototiller. Listen, it, it is too much weight dangling off the end of that shaft. And like the Titan submarine, we cannot count on carbon fiber to be a magic material. Let me rotate. We'll take a look here. All right. So this is an extension, and I'll pull it out just so you all can see it. Uh, you can see that that is a 16th or more um, or less thick, 16th or less thick. That thing there weighs every bit of 30 pounds, rotating blades, just biting in, uh, you know, you hit a stump or whatnot. So this is carbon fiber, the magic material that will never fall apart. Oh, wow. and I was holding on to it here. And supporting it there and the weight and was still too much now this is just a two season brush cutter uh, string trimmer and I, I liked it but uh, indeed they have a rivet spot here and there there's a weak spot this cannot possibly cannot possibly run a rototiller blade so now that's on the vendor that's not on me and I like Ryobi. So, <laughs> in fact, this is the first Ryobi that I've had problems with. And it's because, uh, not because it's great as a string trimmer, but the idea of sticking attachments on the end of it always left me a bit queasy. Maybe if they had been aluminum, that's aluminum. <laughs> but then aluminum attached to uh, less than a 16th inch carbon fiber. Uh, listen, it, it lasted all of about... 30 minutes out there and then just uh, literally blew itself to pieces. So, and this is not a cheap thing. It's a brushless $250 replacement here. Less than please. Don't build a device for a, a, you know, an attachment, an implement for a device that cannot possibly sustain that punishment. Not possibly. So, uh, the verdicts uh, on the uh, Ryo Ryobi string trimmers, good as a string trimmer. Don't buy any attachments for it. That I destroyed a $250 doohickey using whatever it cost me to buy that rototiller. And I'm really disappointed. 
really disappointed. In addition, I still have a garden to fix. Now it put me behind a whole day because uh, I'll be out there doing it by hand. But I'm going to try one other thing. I'm going to chain uh, one of my disc plows to the front of my fork truck and drive around in the moon garden, flatten that out. So let me do that bit. But uh, all right, Ryobi string trimmer as a rototiller is a uh, don't even bother. I, I Not only did I waste money, but I broke my equipment trying the little thing. It's not engineered for that. I don't know why Ryobi's selling it. Uh, they shouldn't even bother. It is not engineered. All right, let me, uh, let me continue on.